Ever since it was first installed on November 4th, 2005, the Nails Tale sculpture outside of Camp Randall has been the target of debate. Debate, indeed. As we reported earlier, the sculpture was taken down today to make room for remodeling of the Camp Randall Plaza. Madison Magazine columnist and former writer for the Wisconsin State Journal has been a critic of this work of art ever since it went up on campus. A smiling <laughs> Doug Moe joins us now. What were you thinking today when that thing came down? Well, I think it was more a couple of months ago when uh, when we heard that it actually was going to come down was the moment where it was it was the end of of something and then today somebody instagrammed me uh the video like really early this morning so they didn't waste any time it took like 15 minutes yeah, yeah. um yeah definitely the end of something you know I, I i'm not gloating so much because one thing donna lipsky the artist you know, he should have every reason to hate me, and he probably does, because I wrote probably a dozen columns about it over the years, first for the newspaper, then for the magazine. Um, but he's actually been kind of gracious throughout this. If you followed it in the last year or so, he said, you know, I'll work with them to find another locale and this sort of thing. And he was great fun on opening day, you know, that November 4th in 05. Um, I was there that day, and he was like a proud papa <laughs> passing out cigars, you know, almost. Um, at the unveiling, even though some people <laughs> remember across the street at Mickey's Dairy Bar, Hank Reese uh, had been interviewed by TV, and I said, "What'd you tell him?" And he said, "I was kind and called it a monstrosity." Wow! <laughs> and that was being kind. <laughs> so, Holy smokes! The history of this thing—I mean, it wasn't a surprise. I mean, this went through committees and yeah. public arts and all of that stuff. It was a percent percent for art program, I think, that the state had been had started where if you had a big renovation like they did at Camp Randall, they had to commit some money to public art. And it was in six figures for this uh, sculpture. And the Wisconsin Art Boards had a, Arts Board had a committee that, that looked at it. And, and one of them, Jim Carley, the late Jim Carley developer here in town, was, was there that, that day when they unveiled it. And he was beaming. I remember Alan Fish, a uh, former UW administrator who was sort of in charge of everything. Uh, he was a little more, <laughs> well, <laughs> we got a mixed reaction. Yeah. And uh, you know, when I wrote about it, every time, the, and I kept writing about it because the reaction was so great. I, you know, there were so many, you know, just nothing drew as much emails and phone calls as writing about that sculpture. Uh, yeah, I was um, going to ask, like, how did, how did those lay out? I mean, percentage-wise... It was hi highly uh, negative. Really? You know? oh, toward very, you very, no, or no, toward the no, statue? No, no, toward the statue. Okay. Agreeing <laughs> with you. Right, agreeing with me. Sure. But there was, to be fair, there was always maybe one in ten who said, you know, it's a talking uh, point, you know, uh, it's public art supposed to be controversial, that sort of thing. I was, was going to um, say, it's, it's sparked debate about public art, which we haven't done in a long time. Yeah, if only it just wasn't so ugly. <laughs> And what, what was it supposed to be? Um, I, what, what Lipsky told me that, that, that first day was Al Fish told me to project something powerful. Oh. You know? Yeah. And of course, uh, I remember Ron McRae, the city e editor of the Camp Times. I didn't quote him by name, but at the end of my story that first day, he said, I know, I know what we got to call it. Buckingham Phallus. <laughs> there you go. I haven't heard that one yet. That's a good one. That's <laughs> a good one. So, Doug, they're looking for a new spot for this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know Is where. Is there a new spot for this? You know, I was thinking about this, that on the way over because I figured you'd ask. And my idea, I guess, is in front of the Humanities Building at uh, <laughs> University and Park because... I can't think of another structure that has received, uh, shall we say, the same An uh, accolades over the years. Another so, monstrosity. Perhaps. Yeah, our friend John Roach said it should go under the, the bridge at Seminole Highway to pop, prop it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. always sagging down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. An end of an era, I yeah. guess. It is that. <laughs> it gave us something to talk about for a long time. <laughs> Doug, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, you guys.